Hello guys and welcome on back to She's Diabetic. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Andrea. I have been a type 1 diabetic for over 19 years and this is just a channel all about my life with type 1 diabetes, living with a chronic condition, some tips, some tricks, some hacks, body positivity, all of that good stuff. So welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you're returning. So today I asked over on Instagram about what kind of content you guys wanted to see and a lot of people, mainly women, asked they would like to know where I sort of store and kind of hide my insulin pump with different outfits. So I decided I would come up with some outfits for you guys and ways that I kind of hide my pump. I'll be honest with you, most of the time my pump is just on my waistband and it's out and about pretty much. But other times I totally know what you mean when you are wearing a nice outfit or maybe you're going on a date or something like that and you don't want your pump to be front and center. Totally get it. So that's why I kind of wanted to make this video and show you a few little neat tricks and odds and ends of where I've found I can either put my pump in tricky situations or hide my pump when I want it to be a little bit more concealed. So that's what's going to be coming at you. I'm going to show you some outfits now and I'll talk you through where my pump is and why my pump is there and all of that good stuff. So here we go. Alright, so first up I'm in the same outfit as I was in the intro and uh, these are just some high-waisted trousers, wide leg trousers, and a little bit of a crop top that I have tucked in at the front. Now, I've saved the best for first. This is a way to hide your insulin pump that I've never seen anyone else feature. I'm not saying it hasn't been featured, but I've never seen it. So, where's my pump? It's not on the waistband of these trousers, and it's not in my bra. Where is it? It is on my ankle! Basically, this is a Velcro strap. An ankle strap that people use in the filming industry to conceal mic packs. And you can see it has a little insert there that my pump will very easily clip into. And then it just Velcros around the ankle. This is such a neat... Uh, device hack for me because sometimes I get tired of wearing my pump either up in my bra or around the waistband of my jeans and I just want that freedom to not have that bulk around that section but I still want to wear my pump so this has been an awesome 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 trick for me to be able to wear my pump and really feel a little bit more free now all this being said I will remind you guys that today I'm working with quite a long infusion set tubing and the infusion set is there on the inside of my thigh. I like to work with the long tubing because it gives me more flexibility. And then when the infusion set is attached there, I can either bring the pump down to my ankle or bring it up and attach it around this sort of general area. So I've shown you like the most exciting one first, the one that I'm most excited about because I've never seen it anywhere else, but I just couldn't wait. I just had to share it with you first. So that's the first one up and on to the next. Okay, so next up is more of a summer friendly jumpsuit kind of beach cover up type of vibe and this is a jumpsuit that I call my most diabetes friendly jumpsuit because it actually has this cutout in the middle where I put my pump. So that is very very convenient obviously and I do love this jumpsuit as a result of that and I just kind of tuck my my tubing down in there and it's easy access and I pretty much live in this in the summer let's be honest <laughs> but if you have a jumpsuit that you don't have sort of an easy access way to stow your pump around the waistband area I've got a little hack for you so this this is a, a bum bag they call them in the UK or a fanny pack in the US um, and these are just very popular at the moment. I have been for a couple years actually and in the 80s too. Uh, and basically what I'll do is if I'm wearing something where I don't have an easy clip point or I just want to add a fun accessory, I will pop this on and then just stow my pump that way. And there we go. So this is a nice way I find that you can kind of make a jumpsuit work and 
still have your pump within easy access. So yeah. <laughs> So next up, I have just pretty much my workout gear. I've got some leggings on and a top, uh, just a workout top and sports bra and all that jazz. And right now I have my pump just on the waistband of the leggings. I find that that kind of stays pretty easily when I'm working out, bopping around, no problem. And also if you're the type of person that wants to kind of conceal more, when you're in all black and your pump's black, it all kind of just washes into one. But if you're out running or you don't really want to just have your pump on the waistband of your um, leggings, that's totally fine. And I introduced another bum bag slash fanny pack. This is more of an athletic one, so I will just go ahead, stow the pump in there. And as you're running and stuff like that, you know, you can also keep your keys and your glucose tablets and all of that stuff in the pack. So that's kind of a nice alternative if you're if you're going out for a run and that type of thing. But for the most part, I just keep my pump on my waistband. Or secret option number three, you can also just go ahead and put it up in your sports bra and just like you can do it up at the front. You can do it on the side too. A lot of people. Um, like that location a lot if some people even do it on the back so that keeps it off your waistband if you'd rather not have it there and just yeah very workout friendly okay so next up i have a jean shirt some black jeans and then just my usual shoes for this i'm going to show you two ways i store my pump in these scenarios the button down will become important but first up i just have it on my waistband and because the shirt is long enough it kind of covers it you can't really see it so i feel pretty darn comfortable with it there but if i didn't want to have it attached to my waistband i could take the pump and run it up my shirt into the front of my bra and again because the shirt is relatively loose you can't see it now obviously if you are a little bit more well endowed up top it's going to hide a bit better but in these looser shirts i feel like for the most part you can't really see it on me and it's okay but obviously that would become an issue if it was a lot tighter so that's a good thing to note the other thing is i really personally only end up doing this when I'm wearing button-down shirts because that means I can easily kind of pull the pump out, take a look, and then put it down. First of all, button-down shirts for me tend to, I tend to buy them a little bit more oversized and more comfy fitting. And second of all, that button-down allows me to just kind of unbutton, take a look, bolus, whatever, and put it back. Something that I think if I had a crew neck shirt on, would become a little bit awkward and I might be in the scenario where I would be like fiddling around with it going up my shirt or going down my shirt I wouldn't feel as comfortable doing that in public whereas with this shirt I find it's very easy access so I tend to do the bra stow when I'm wearing button-down shirts <laughs> just another option so on to the next next outfit like I said nine times out of ten my pump is on my waistband and that is where it's at right now. But I thought I would show you just kind of to get a vibe. I don't know if other people do this, but I put my pump on the waistband with the pump face facing my body. I find that's more secure. You can do it like that, but I kind of find it like jiggles around a bit and I don't really like the feeling of that. So I like to put the pump face facing towards my body that tubing and again because these jeans are a darker color the pump kind of blends in but yes if I'm honest part of the thing of wearing a pump that's a little bit annoying is you do get like a bulge where the pump is so that's you know just a fact of life but like I say in all my videos about a pump it's worth it it's it's a headache that's worth it so I thought I would just show you kind of my normal where I'm storing my pump on a normal basis type of situation but I'm going to show you a little hack if you don't want to wear your pump here and you have a jacket on so let me grab my jacket and I'll be right back okay so here I've just thrown on a jacket or a 
shacket, as it's known in the industry. That's your shirt jacket. Mix. Basically, this is just something I will throw on oftentimes because I'm generally a cold person, but it's an excellent way to hide your pump. So you can see the pump is no longer on my waist. It is actually in my pocket. It's been put in my pocket and within my jacket I've actually cut a little hole that I've fed the tubing through. And then that way the pump can sit in the pocket of the jacket, shacket, and the tubing goes through. Your waist is free and easy and it's just another kind of easy way where you can totally hide the pump. You wouldn't know that I've got a pump in my pocket, but it's still there. You're still connected and you're good to go. That's a, that's another kind of trick that I like to implement. And you can do that with anything. You just have to be willing to cut a hole in the jackets, which I don't really mind. It's, I don't see my pump going anywhere, but yeah, that's a little hack. So there we go. There you have it. Those are five outfits, five ways I kind of conceal my pump, a couple extra ways in there too, and uh, just kind of ways I keep myself feeling fashionable and feeling free to make, you know, decisions with my outfits and not have to think about my pump or be able to conceal my pump when I don't really want it to be out and about. But like I said, about 90% of the time my pump is just sitting on the waistband of my trousers and that's the situation just because sometimes I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to put it elsewhere. Uh, but these are also very, very easy ways to kind of hide your pump, make it a little less obvious, and enjoy the freedom of not having something around your waistband 24-7. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other ways that you hide or conceal your pump, please let me know in the comments down below. I love to hear these ideas because I'm always looking for neat and ingenious ways to hide the pump with different outfits. So please let me know in the comments down below. And if you saw something in this video that you've never seen before, you were like, oh, that's a different way to hide the pump, let me know in the comments down below too. I will link everything down in the info box below. So go down there, check out all the different bits and pieces that I've used to hide the insulin pump. But that's all for me for now. If you'd like to see more of this content, let me know. I certainly would be happy to provide whatever you guys want to see. So with that being said, I wish you guys a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. I wish you straight CGM lines, correct boluses, all of that good stuff. But most of all, and most, most, most importantly, I wish you a happy, healthy mind with it all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.